All right, in this uh, segment, we're going to ask a different question. In the previous one, we looked at the behaviors that the lie produces, and now we want to look at the results or the consequences of those behaviors. Uh, as Dara was taught, ideas have consequences. Ideas have results, they have impacts, and that's what we want to look at here. Uh, this can be a little difficult, so I want you to think in terms of these consequences at different levels. For example, what are the consequences of the behavior uh, for individuals? What are the consequences for families? What about for your church or churches? What are the consequences for the society or the culture as a whole? And then what, are the what have been the consequences for you personally? How has this lie impacted you personally? What have, what have been the consequences? Let me give you an example. In the United States, since 1992, 1972, excuse me, there have been more than 56 million abortions. And the legalization of abortion is really the direct result or consequence of the lie that I discussed earlier that man is a product of a purposeless process of evolution. If you believe that, if that lie takes root in the culture, it's a very simple step between there and a license to commit abortions. So the fact that we've had a skyrocketing rate of abortions really is linked back. It's a consequence of that lie. These consequences are like a web. There's so many of them from a single lie, but this is just one that you could identify from that lie. Now, these cultural lies are terribly destructive, and that is Satan's intention. And so their consequences can be very painful, are very painful, and perhaps for you, uh, or your family or your church, you have been personally deeply wounded by uh, as a result of one of these lies. And what I'd like you to do now is take time and just reflect on that and share with one another uh, how you have been impacted and the brokenness that it's led to in your own lives. And just remember that the purpose of our loving Heavenly Father is to bring healing to these areas of brokenness. So again, uh, the lie results in specific behaviors, and those behaviors have consequences or results for you, for your church, for your family, for your society. I want you to identify those consequences now before you go on to the next video segment. Once again, brainstorm, write them down. What are the consequences?